Good morning, this is Luke, Phil Annunziato from Luke Brown Yachts. Today we're going to be taking a video walkthrough of the 59 symbol offline. Beautiful boat, 63 feet length overall, but the model is the is the 59. And she's a 2007 boat, original owner. And what we're going to do is just take a quick walk through and add this to our library of, of videos. This boat's just recently come on the market, asking $1,350,000. It's seriously for sale. And this is the cockpit. Beautiful table, chairs, bench seating. Underneath that hatch is the access to the engine room, and we're not going to go down there today. There are great pictures of it on the website where this will also be posted www.independentyachts.com Some people think from the pictures that actually there's staining or something on this table, but in fact what it is, is an inlay of a chart. I have ladder access up to the flying bridge, but there's much nicer access right from the pilot house. The wind doors make it possible to fully enclose this aft deck if you wanted to, and also make it nice even when you're just sitting on the hook or in a marina uh, they block the air from coming down the side of the boat. As we enter the boat, you're going to see a beautiful roomy salon with a great entertaining area on the port side, including an area for a lift-up TV, and then seating on the starboard side, including a very comfortable recliner, an ottoman. The table expands and does go up and down as well, so it can either be cocktail height or dining height. And I'll give you a quick example of how she opens up and what she looks like when she's open. Opens both sides and then raises a little more for dining and then will close up and is perfect for the cocktail hour. The television is on a hydraulic lift it comes right up out of this console, so it's out of the way when you don't want to see it. And then, of course, right in front of it, there's all kinds of storage areas for other components, etc. Nice wet bar. Custom sconces. This is a very custom boat. Right down to the, uh, the lighting all has, um, it can either be red lighting for night running, or it can be... Uh, white lighting for times like this. You have two freezer drawers right here in this area and then up the steps here and into the galley. The galley is very custom. High, high-end appliances, refrigerator drawers, Fisher Paykel stainless dish drawer, dishwasher, microwave convection oven, nice flat panel TV, with, and all of the TVs on this boat are hooked up to monitoring camera, cameras as well as satellite TV. The entrance up to the flying bridge, which will go up last. Another look at the galley. And the doors, these are articulating doors, very, very, very high end and expensive and they're as easy as can be to open and close, quiet and smooth. Some of the doors that people have on their boats are very clunky and sticky. Um, they bang. If you don't know how to do it exactly, uh, they get upset at a boat show because, you know, it, it makes it sound like it's more difficult than it is. Well, actually, it is a little bit difficult on some of the boats, but this boat, not so. You're now looking at the lower helm with the Garmin system for chart plotting and then the monitor which is running through the different camera um, cameras right now, engine room. It has four different cameras on the boat and it gives you individual views and it will give you four views at once. That's the lazarette area and uh, that it also monitors the computer navigation system as well, another view of the engine room. We'll now head down into the lower deck, which is where the staterooms are. As we approach the bottom of the stairs, you'll see these louvered doors behind which are a 
very high end washer and dryer. Dryer over here, that was the washer. And then we turn and head aft, and under the pilot house where it's supposed to be is the master stateroom. Beautifully done, Soji screens covering the ports. The head arrangement on this boat was done uniquely for this couple. It has an open vanity open back to the to the rest of the stateroom. Beautiful stall shower with high-end tempered glass. And I'll open this up so you can see. Very large and roomy shower. Beautiful granite seating. High-end growy fixtures. And then everywhere on the boat are high-end growy fixtures. And then the head is in its own separate room, reading lights. And so therefore, somebody that's taking a shower doesn't preclude somebody using the head and vice versa. And the vanity is always available. The LED lighting with both red and white available is throughout the boat. We're now looking forward down the companionway and we're going to proceed and go up here and directly ahead is the VIP guest stateroom. Again Soji screens covering the ports for a nice effect. Softens the lighting. Large queen size berth up here. Hanging lockers on the port side with more storage above. Storage everywhere on this boat. They did not leave any area unopened that could be used for storage. And another large hanging locker on the side. Drawers below the berth and in the sides. And then right up the companionway and also accessible through its own door from the master stateroom, from the VIP stateroom, is the guest head with its own separate stall shower And you can lock the door to the companionway and have an end suite head. Or, when you're looking quickly into the third stateroom, you can enter from the companionway and people in the VIP can lock their door. And then they're not going to be disturbed by the people coming along and using the head either during the day or in the middle of the night very high-end heads on this boat. I'm not going to get into great details. Uh, this is just to give you an idea about the boat on a video basis. There's a complete listing that will be linked. When you watch this video, you'll be able to find your way to the listing of the boat. Beautiful, roomy third stateroom. Teak and Holly throughout. And now we're looking back down the companionway into the master stateroom. this point, what we're going to do is head up. The workmanship and, and the quality of the woodwork in this boat is superior. Not only does Symbol do a nice job, this has got to be one of the nicest interiors as far as fit and finish I've ever seen on a Symbol. Now we're going to head up and just forgive for a minute, it'll get a little bright and then it'll calm down again, to the flying bridge. This flying bridge is kind of his piece de resistance. It has a great entertaining area wrap around, St. Croix fixtures up here too, a beautiful fire magic grill, propane grill, and the grill is fed by propane tanks that are totally composite so you don't have any rusting tanks to worry about. Right next to the grill is another area with two side burners. This boat is used in this respect. This is a boat that they cruise and have cruised and it's a boat that they spend time just at the dock with their friends. Aft looking you're going to see the boat deck and the tender and all of these things have canvas covers by the way which we've removed for this video. Nice hydraulic lift. All fully hydraulic. The lift purchase angle and the articulation is all 
handled hydraulically. Slight step down, and then you can see, while I didn't take the covers off of the, the stools, it's a nice entertaining bar as well with seating for your guests. Or seating and a nice table up top sides here. So while the boat's running, guests can be comfortable looking forward or sideways. And then there's there are twin helm seats up here. And the electronics are repeated up here as well. The fans are strictly for dockside when they're up here and they're entertaining. It just keeps a little air moving around. What you see is the Garmin repeated, both Garmin screens, and then the monitor as well. And anything that happens down at the lower helm happens up here as well. You also see the monitors for the CAT power. This has the 800, 811 horsepower CATs. And as again, I said, for the details, you can go to the listing. Coming on back down the companionway from the flying bridge into the pilot house. You get an idea about just how roomy and beautiful this boat is. The choice of granites was really beautiful. Just exquisitely done. And now you have an opportunity to look back through the salon, looking out to the aft deck. Thanks for joining us today. This is the beautiful 59 symbol offline, available through Myself, Phil Annunziato, Luke Brown Yachts, you're at the Independent Yacht Brokers site looking at this or possibly our YouTube site. And uh, we are an affiliate of Luke Brown Yachts out of Fort Lauderdale, Annapolis, Newport, Rhode Island, Southampton, England, Bradenton, Florida, which is my office. A little look back up here into the pilot house. Come join us, www.independentyachts.com. You'll have the opportunity to see more boats. If you need to talk to me, please just give me a call, Phil Annunziato. Just ask for Phil, 941-718-0076. Thank you for joining us.